What's going on, YouTubers? I did get another package today. Now, I've been waiting for this one for quite some time. As you can see, it is the Deadpool Heat Seeker statue by Sideshow Collectibles, the exclusive version. I was supposed to receive it on Friday due to UPS mix up. I did not get it. And I didn't get it yesterday either because no one is home. You didn't have pre signed for delivery. But I finally got it. Looks like they included instructions with this bad boy. Box art, very Deadpoolish. You know, it just has the statue and then some explosions on the back. A pretty big box, I will say. So I'll go ahead and uh, see the size of this. My box does have a little bit of damage, so hopefully that doesn't affect anything. Uh, it does not want to come out. Just holding it with one arm. And this is the top. So there's a lot of Deadpool statues out there. There's some customs that look really nice, even a movie one. But to be honest, this is the one that grabbed my attention. When I first showed this off in the video, blew my mind. So I am ecstatic to have this. I didn't think I was going to get this till maybe the new year. I'm really happy to have this. Actually, I have another statue coming tomorrow and next week on Halloween. So I'm really excited to bring you guys these unboxings. Here it is, though. Deadpool. Heat Seeker Premium Format. Super stoked. Hopefully... No damage, God. My last several statues have been damaged and is driving me absolutely crazy. So, there's a lot of parts to this. So, please bear in mind that. This base is absolutely unreal. Look at that. Super, super legit. They use some sort of like see-through. God, there's freaking styrofoam pieces stuck on the bottom, you can see. So I got number 138 of 1500. So it's not a super, super low edition size. So I got this little styrofoam piece out. I hate this styrofoam. Yeah, this base is unreal. Unbelievably cool. All right, so there's the base. Apologies for the puppy. So next it wants me to slide Deadpool in. Oh wait, actually no, the Right, Ed? So these are color-coded according to what they've said. This looks yellow to me. And for the life of me, I can't find a yellow one. Oh, here it is. It's magnetized. This one, I'm not sure yet, so I'll put that to the side. This might take me a little bit to unbox this just because it is a lot of pieces. So if you don't care for the unboxing, simply fast forward to the review towards the end of the video. See, these are all color coded. 
Let's see. Really just this one, which I don't think goes anywhere yet. I think that's for something else. So let's take out Deadpool himself. Deadpool's nice and heavy. So you can see this, the detail paint job looks incredible. So Deadpool is now in. Next, slide Deadpool into base, attach three color blast coordinated pieces, yellow, black, red, into the mechanized slot, attach Deadpool portrait into net key. So I'll do the regular head first and then the review, I'll show you the exclusive. Here's the regular head. There's the head. Magnetized nice and strong. Attach Deadpool portrait into net key. Attach sword scabbard on back. So here's that. That goes nice and flush. Attach bullet fire blast into end of gun barrel. <clears throat> so here is the gun, which has bullets coming out. And then this is that. I believe it attaches like this. Very strong magnet. Next, attach the rocket. Here's the flame for the rocket. This is more like a missile, not a rocket. It's crazy looking. That's like that. Next is the sword slicing the grenade. This is real metal. Lands where? Looks super, super legit. Boom. So let me show you guys the exclusive piece this does come with. Real quickly, just so you can see it. It is the classic selfie stick. So I'll just take it out to show you guys. So here's the exclusive head. You can see that, not sure if you can. Then the cell phone selfie stick. So let's go ahead and set this up in the statue collection and do a detailed review. All right, everybody. So I just want to show you real quickly Deadpool PF next to the bust so you can see that. Uh, as you can see, you know, the bust is a different red color. It's more, I would say, like vibrant uh, red, where this, uh, the PF is darker red. So I'm not displaying these together. 
And honestly, I think they do look better separated because of the color difference. If they were the same color, I think it'd look better together. But I'm displaying the Deadpool PF in my room with the bust out here. And so I think it looks, uh, you know, it'll look better that way. But I just wanted to show you real quickly, bust next to PF. So bust 28 inches tall, PF 24 inches tall to the top of that sword. So that's just a quick uh, little video showing you the bust next to the PF, because I don't think we've ever seen this. So let's go ahead and put Deadpool now in the actual statue room in his final resting place. All right, everybody, I do have Deadpool Heat Seeker Premium Format in the Stuva. So this is not a best, it's a Stuva, but he should fit in the best of no problem. He is not too deep. I gotta say, folks, this is one of my favorite one four scale statues now. This is absolutely mind blowing. I could definitely understand why they would charge seven hundred freaking dollars for this. Totally worth it. Gotta say that. And those haters and people saying the first one's better are absolutely retarded. This is a billion times better in every possibly humanly way than a Deadpool just standing there or holding a chicken. Freaking gay. This bad boy is super dynamic, tons going on, and easily one of the coolest bases I've ever seen. And the all-around detail and paint job is just top-notch. This is one of Sideshow's best. So, uh, I do need to stand corrected. This is actually 25 and a half inches tall to the top of that sword. It is not 24 inches like Sideshow advertised. So I had to lower the shelf slightly. Uh, you know, underneath I have that. Luckily I had the space. But let's go ahead and zoom in. I actually do have an extra grenade from the bust because uh, I had a tiny chip in it. I just displayed it in here. So I actually really like that. I think that uh, adds to my display. And then, of course, you got the poster and DVD. So let me go ahead and get, do some close-ups now. Then we'll show off the exclusive and finish off this video for you. So, of course, first things first is the base. Now, this piece is see-through. You can see, like, a cloud effect underneath. It looks really cool in person and in camera. So the base is really like a road that's just been exploded, obviously, probably from a grenade or a rocket that Deadpool's escaping from. You got rocks coming off of some of the explosion everywhere. It's absolutely incredibly cool base. Quite big, actually. I'd say it's about 13, 14 inches wide and deep. Maybe 12 inches, about a foot or a little bit bigger. Really, really cool though. I think the base really stands out. One of my favorite bases probably on a 1-4 scale statue now. I'm really impressed overall with the the detail and just the overall look of how they did this base. The color, the paint job, you can see the shading on the explosion, the road, then the black like under part. Really, really impressive. Good job, Sideshow. So Deadpool has a nice thick peg, metal peg, and a normal peg going into this bad boy to prevent lean. Deadpool himself is very well constructed. He's heavy, not light. But I don't think he's too heavy that he is going to, you know, lean over time. Sideshow's really done a good job recently. So look at some of the detail. You got the gun holster, some of the pockets here. So let's go ahead and check out some of the chest features. You got lots going on here in the chest. Different accessories to Deadpool as he loves to carry them around. They even glossed up that belt buckle to make it look metalish. I'm not sure if it's actually metal, but it does look metalish. Got his classic belt buckle with the Deadpool look. You got the sword holster. And then the gun, the main gun looks great. That has this explosion out with a little bullet at the end, which is super cool. You got the arm. You can see all the detail and the shading and the muscle they did. Really good. Metal sword, nice shine to it. Cutting the grenade. 
in half. So you can see from like that, that's a good angle to look at the grenade. Get good focus here so you can see it. There you go. Really, really cool. And then here's the rocket, so we'll zoom in on that bad boy. The missile, per se. Missile, rocket, whichever. And then, of course, it has the, like, flame behind because he's dodging it. Yeah, this statue is absolutely phenomenal. If you were waiting for in-hand picks or whatever, don't wait any longer. Buy it right now. It's low stock, the exclusive. And I'm going to show you guys the exclusive right now. All right, everybody, here is the exclusive, which is basically him doing a kiss face, closing one eye, like so. And then I'll just flip the camera real quickly. Hope you all can see that. The cell phone, basically, uh, doing a selfie stick. And you can see his face kissing in it. Awesome exclusive, very dead Polish. I mean, it's hard to say which is better. I mean, the gun looks so cool, but the selfie stick is so just Deadpool and cool looking. But let me go ahead and show you guys from a distance the like Marvel statue collection now. Zoom out. So you can see Deadpool fits in perfectly. Very welcome addition to the collection. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I give Deadpool a 10 out of 10. Perfect statue. Well worth the money. Like and enjoy.